I think it's awesome. I mean, you like I remember Dom Cruz would he would he would if he lost the fight, he said not that he lost a lot of fights, but he would be in the gym the next day. And that's just the champion mentality. You know, if someone beats you, find out why they beat them, you know, and I mean why they beat you and train with them. The sport's like really big and complicated. I don't if if you're not training with other people and getting other perspectives, you're probably gonna get passed up. And you gotta have that attitude. And I, usually the, the, the better guys, the guys that are, are at the top, they got that way because that they had a good attitude. They're always trying to get better. Even if they're as intense as intense gets, like really intense, it doesn't mean they don't have a good mindset about learning and developing. So you, you can learn some knees if you want, just to just try, you know? You know, you're down on the scorecard, you can come. Just put that one. Yeah. This way, I'm here. Have your hips so I can block you. That way I can't. I can't do that. Kamaru is such a technical wrestler. Like uh, I said before, he's probably the best or the second best wrestler in my division. And if I can, it, to work with him is always an advantage. He's like, he's sharp. He's, well, like, I don't have any hate for any people I fight. Like, if they're still assholes after the fight, then. Of course, I won't be nice to them. And Kamaru is a nice guy. I'm a nice guy, and we get along. So, um, just learn from it and, and like do the best, best out of the situations. That's the thing with me is I've always said this since I got into sport. I I learn from some of the best. I watch some of the best guys like Rashad Evans, and these guys basically show me the journey and how how they got to be where they they got to because of their ability to acquire knowledge wherever it's at. And yeah, me and uh, my opponent, we competed against each other. And one of the toughest dudes that I fought today. And, you know, yeah, I was able to get the win. And so, you know, he's a guy that wants to learn. So he said, you know what, can we, uh, can we get in together? Can we roll together? Because I'm fighting a guy that could potentially do the same thing. So I said, yeah, let's get some work. I'm no hater. I'm always here to help anybody. He's a good guy. He's a nice guy. So we. Uh, we got some work in, and uh, he's a tough, he's a tough dude, real tough dude, and I know that firsthand because I fought the guy. I truly believe there's always a way to win any fight, and I think that's what motivates me to learn. Because if someone else found a new way to win, I gotta learn it because they did something pretty awesome, and just kind of collect it. You, gotta, you know, go to the right gyms. Same thing with Gustafson after Phil Davis beat him. Showed up at Alliance, Gustafson was like, all right, let's train. And they took him in and uh, they have a great relationship and they've helped each other out through a lot of fights. So, um, Yusha Nakami, same thing when Chael beat him. Showed up, Chael's door, can I train with you now? Sure, come on in, man. And they end up becoming really good friends and having a good training relationship. So, just because you compete with them, they're not your enemy, it's just a sport, just a sport. That's all it is. But uh, what percentage was he today? I today was fucking like 33. 33%? Yeah, I think it was a little too much. <laughs>